Saint Maria Bertilla Biscardin was an Italian nun and nurse, who was devoted to working with sick children during World War I. She was later canonized as a saint by the Roman Catholic Church and is commemorated every year on October 20th. Anna Francesca Biscardin, also known as Annette, was born on October 6, 1888, to a peasant family in Brendola, Veneto. Her father is said to be jealous, violent, and frequently drunk. As a child, she attended school irregularly as she was needed to help at home and in the fields. When not in school, she worked as a servant in a nearby home. She took her first Holy Communion at age 8 and was accepted into the parish association of the Children of Mary when she was 12. The parish priest gave her a catechism as a gift that was found in the pocket of her habit when she died. It is believed that Annette did not display any particular talents, was not particularly intelligent, and was often the target of insulting jokes which included being referred to as a goose for her lack of intelligence and slowness. After being rejected for admission to one order because of her slowness, she was accepted as a member of the Teachers of St. Dorothy, Daughters of the Sacred Heart at Vicenza in 1904, taking the name, Maria Bertilla. She herself internalized some of her earlier criticism, telling the novice mistress of the order, I can't do anything. I'm a poor thing, a goose. Teach me, I want to be a saint. She worked there as a kitchen maid and laundress for three years. Later, Sister Maria Bertilla was sent to Treviso to learn nursing at the municipal hospital which was under the direction of their order. Upon completing her training, she was promoted to work with victims of diphtheria in the hospital's children's ward. During the air raids of Treviso following the disastrous Battle of Caporetto, the hospital fell under the control of the military. Sister Bertilla was noted for her unwavering care of her patients, particularly those who were too ill to be moved to safety. Her devotion to duty attracted the attention of the authorities of a local military hospital, but an envious superioress reassigned Bertilla to the hospital laundry. Later, she was placed in charge of the children's isolation ward at the hospital by a higher superior. Shortly thereafter, Sister Bertilla's already poor health got worse. A painful tumor that she had for several years progressed to the point of requiring an operation, which she did not survive. She died on October 20, 1922. Her reputation for simplicity, devotion to taking care of the children, and hard work, had left a deep impression on those who knew her. A memorial plaque placed on her tomb refers to her as, a chosen soul of heroic goodness. An angelic alleviator of human suffering in this place. Crowds flocked to her first grave at Treviso. After a tomb was erected for her at Vicenza, it became a pilgrimage site where several miracles of healing were said to have taken place. On June 8, 1952, Sister Maria Bertia was beatified by Pope Pius XII. On May 11, 1961, she was canonized as a saint by Pope John XXIII. The crowd in attendance included members of her family as well as some of her patients. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.